team is celebrating the launch and the spin stabilized rocket the views from the launcher camera in a few seconds uh, the vehicle will undergo the condition of maximum aerodynamic pressure followed by the motor burnout and we will get you those confirmations shortly the vehicle will experience Q max around 15 seconds and the same time maximum aerodynamic loads will occur just to remind the viewers this is an aerodynamically stabilized vehicle at 20 seconds flight time we have reached mark 5 Plus which minute. means it is flying at five times the velocity of sound and with this the vehicle has achieved hypersonic velocities it looks like we do have successful turn out and the flight trajectory is tracking as per the prediction rocket is now at the altitude of 66 kilometers 67 now we have completed 80 seconds of flight time we are around 34 seconds away from the launch pad and the totally intended trajectory is being followed the present altitude is 75 kilometers as we slowly go towards our target of crossing 80 kilometers and way beyond that uh, nominally we expect to be around 100 kilometers uh, uh, when the peak altitude occurs see the screen views from the mission control center 86 kilometers in altitude we are at 85 kilometers now and slowly and steadily we are reaching our peak altitude. Uh, if you can see it on the screens, the altitude profile is being shown. Around 133 seconds have passed. We are very close to our peak altitude. We are now at around 88 kilometers peak altitude. And uh, everything has gone as per we have planned. We are very close to the peak altitude now. The peak altitude performance has been reached at around 155 seconds. And now slowly the rocket will start its descent. Actually, it has just started from 88 kilometers. Now it has come to around 87.1 kilometer. The peak altitude being met, this mission today has given a good, successful, satisfactory, performance as intended by us. Jiyaan, ek safal uraan, pratham uraan Vikram S ke liye, praramb bada hi rakh raha, ya rocket apne gantavya tak bhi pahuncha, aur ab apni altitude ko ghatane ke koshish mein, मात्र 70 किलोमीटर की ऑल्टीट्यूड पर अब ये रॉकेट स्थित है। This rocket achieved the apogee of 89.5 kilometers. That is the peak altitude achieved by this rocket was 89.5. Our target was to cross 80 kilometers. As you all know, 80 kilometers is commonly defined as the start of space. So this rocket successfully went into space as we intended. And now, after completing its mission of achieving the peak orbit, creating the conditions for the payloads to function, and uh, completing its job successfully, it is, or it is on its way back to a safe splashdown in the Bay of Bengal, as we have intended. The range right now is 115 kilometers away from Shar, and we expect it to impact somewhere around 130 kilometers away from Shar. The whole thing has gone as per planned. Ye bahut hi khushi ki baat hai ki sky route ki taraf se unki pehle abhiyan mein hi jo unhone plan kiya tha, jo humne plan kiya tha, wo hum successful rahe aur ab ye rocket apne splashdown ke bahut hi nazdik hai aur hum kisi bhi shan ab Splash down ke karenge or ye mission successfully uh, accomplished ho jayega. Uh, hum five minutes. Yahan par badhai dena chahenge in space ko jinhone is pure mission ko regulate kiya, guide kiya. Hum badhai dena chahenge Shatish Dhawan Space Center, Shri Kota ko 
जिन्होंने जिन्होंने ये हमें फैसिलिटेट किया इसरो को इसरो चेयरमैन को वी थैंक ऑल दिस पीपल वी आर हम्बल्ड बाय द सपोर्ट विच वी गॉट हैप्पी व्यूज फ्रॉम द मिशन कंट्रोल एंड या एंड नाउ वी टेक लीव फ्रॉम यू गुड बाय फ्रॉम अवर साइड हैंडिंग ओवर टू श्री पवन गोयन का चेयरमैन इन स्पेस फॉर हिस्स स्पीच Thank you viewers goodbye thank you viewers for joining us we sign off